Hi everyone. Today we're going to be looking at operations between functions. So in your notebook, please put down today's subtitle, which is operations between functions. Just like adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing numbers and variables together, believe it or not, functions can also be added, subtracted, multiplied, and divided with each other. Notation-wise, how do we show how this looks like? Well, let's take a look. Suppose that we have two functions, f of x and g of x. In your important color, let's put down how their notations will look like. There are four operations, adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. So let's start with the first one, number one. What if we were to add functions f and g? So it would look like f of x plus g of x. The notation of them being added together looks like the following. In a bracket, we show f plus g, and then we show the of x, like usual, outside that bracket. In plain English, we say that this is f plus g of x. In a very similar fashion, subtraction looks like the following. So number two, if we were to do f of x subtract g of x, then putting them together, the notation looks like the following. f minus g in brackets of x. Again, in a similar fashion, multiplication looks like this. Number three, if we were to do f of x multiplied by g of x, it would look like, in a bracket, f multiplied by g of x. And finally, for division, it looks like the following. Number four, so suppose I were to perform f of x divided by g of x. The notation for this is f over g of x. The brackets around the f over g are optional. I would like you to please surround these four operations with a nice box. Let's take a look at some of these operations through a few examples. Let's start with a very easy one. What if I were to tell you that f of x is equal to, how about 6x minus 7, and g of x was, how about 2x plus 5. Let's take a look at each of the four operations one by one. Let's start with addition. So suppose I ask you, what is the rule for f plus g of x? Well, it's easy. Add the two functions together. So we have 6x minus 7 plus 2x plus 5. And that gives us 8x minus 2. Let's take a look at subtraction. Suppose I ask you what is the rule for f subtract g of x? Well, in this case, we have 6x minus 7 subtract, and watch out, you need brackets here because g of x is a polynomial, 2x plus 5. And when you complete the operation, you get 4x minus 12. Let's take a look at multiplying. Suppose I ask you for the rule of f multiplied by g of x. So that means that 6x minus 7 gets multiplied to 2x plus 5. So let's do the double distribution. 
we get 12x squared plus 30x minus 14x minus 35. And a bit of simplifying will give us 12x squared plus 16x minus 35. And finally, let's take a look at division. Suppose I were to ask you, what is the rule for f divided by g of x? That means that 6x minus 7 is divided by 2x plus 5. And I do not believe there's a way to further simplify this rational expression through factoring or long division. So our answer can just remain like that. As you may have noticed, operations between functions basically boils down to polynomial operations. Now I'd like for you guys to try one on your own. So put another example, please. Let me give you these two functions. Suppose f of x was defined by the rule x squared plus 2x minus 15. And g of x was represented by the rule 2x minus 6. For the first question, I would like you to add these two functions. So give me the final rule for f plus g of x. Go ahead, pause the video, and try it on your own. All right, let's see how you guys did. So f plus g of x. That means that x squared plus 2x minus 15 gets added to 2x minus 6. The final result gives us x squared plus 4x minus 21. Pretty easy. Now here's another one for you. Question B. What if I were to ask you to divide them? What is the rule for f divided by g of x? Go ahead, pause the video, and try it now. All right, let's see how you guys did. So f divided by g of x. That means that x squared plus 2x minus 15 gets divided by 2x minus 6. Aha! How many of you remembered how to do your rational expressions? Yes, factoring is involved. So, let's factor the top. I believe product sum works nicely, thereby giving us x minus 3 times x plus 5. And for the denominator, I believe that the common factor technique works just fine. That gives us 2 multiplied by x minus 3. And the two x minus 3's reduce each other, leaving us x plus 5 over 2. And this was a rational expression, so don't forget about your restrictions x was not allowed to be 3. As you can see, when it comes to operations between functions, you pretty much cannot escape your normal polynomial operations and your factoring. All right, I'd like to take a look at another example. Here's an interesting one. Suppose I give you two functions again. How about f of x this time is represented by 5x plus 1, and g of x is represented by minus 2x minus 8. Here's the question. Calculate f plus g of, and we're going to plug a value into the x. How about 3? Well, let's see how this can be done. 
It can in fact be done two different ways. I'm going to show you those two different ways. So in your notebook, I would like you to split your a few lines down the middle in half. Let's do it one way first. The first way is easy. First, come up with a rule for f plus g and then plug 3 into that final rule. So let's take a look. f plus g of x gives us 5x plus 1 added to negative 2x minus 8. Therefore, when you simplify it, that gives us 3x minus 7. And now we can plug in the 3 into that combined rule. So f plus g of 3 gives us 3 multiplied by 3 minus 7, giving us a final result of 2. Now the second way to calculate f plus g of 3 is to first calculate f of 3, then calculate g of 3, and then add the two results together. Let's take a look at that one. So f of 3 gives us 5 times 3 plus 1, which equals 16. Now for g of 3, that will give us minus 2 times 3, minus 8. And that will give us minus 14. And then you add those two results together. So, f of 3 plus g of 3 gives us 16 plus negative 14. And that gives us a final result of 2. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is what is meant by performing operations between functions.